What is a very creepy fact? I saw a news story on a woman with a rare type of epilepsy that causes her to see everything like a slideshow or a video game that gets 10 FPS. She described watching cars drive by and saying they freeze in place for a moment and then snap into position further down the road over and over. Her entire life is played out in front of her eyes in still frames and because if that she wears blinders or earmuffs because her senses are constantly contradicting one another and it overwhelms her. I can't imagine how horrifying it would be to experience life like she does. Catard's delusion is a rare psychiatric condition, severe cases of which cause the sufferer to wholeheartedly believe they are dead, putrefying, or simply do not exist. Some Catard's patients refuse to eat, as they do not believe they need to, with one notable patient dying of starvation. Another woman once asked to be taken to a morgue, to be with the other dead people. Indian followers of the Zoroastrianism don't bury or burn their dead. Instead they leave the bodies in special towers, exposed to the elements to be eaten by vultures. Unfortunately the vultures are now endangered leaving the bodies to slowly rot. When a person is electrocuted in the electric chair, they feel everything. They are fully aware of their bodies being fried as it happens in real time. One inmate who survived the first round of electrocution said it tasted like cold peanut butter. The children's story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin was based on a real event. Hamelin town records start with this event. The earliest written record is from the town chronicles in an entry from 1384 which states, It is 100 years since our children left. No one know what or who took the children, but there's records of the entire town's children being taken. Scaphism, the worst way of execution I've ever heard of. The word comes from Greek which stands for hollowed out. The victim is trapped between two boats, fed and covered with milk and honey, which then attracts all kinds of insects and vermin that fester and devours you over a couple of days. In 1844, there was a case of hysteria in a French convent of nuns. One started meowing and after a week all the nuns were meowing harmoniously in the afternoons. It didn't stop until neighbors called soldiers. The island of Okinoshima in the Inland Sea of Japan is known for two reputable things, it's named Rabbit Island because of the overabundance of wild rabbit sand. The island has World War II ruins of a chemical weapons factory, creating poison-like mustard gas in its attacks on China. So vital was its secrecy to the Japanese government that they tried to wipe its location off maps. There is a rare genetic disease called fatal familial insomnia where over the course of months you literary cannot go or be put to sleep no matter what you take or what you do. The symptoms get progressively worse until finally you stay awake watching yourself go insane until you die from exhaustion. The bodies of the sailors who died on the Edmund Fitzgerald are still down there, almost perfectly preserved, due to the water at that depth being just barely above freezing. Divers who have explored the wreckage have seen their bodies frozen in place to parts of the ship, and have come back reporting that they feel as if they were being followed during their time underwater. Photos were taken, but per the request of the crew's family, they have never been released to the public. Somewhat recently, 2012, scientists discovered over 1,400 new species of bacteria living in the belly button. Everyone's belly button ecology is unique. Add it to the fingerprints and snowflakes list. In that same study, one volunteer's belly button harbored bacteria strands that had only ever been found in soil from Japan where this man has never been. There was a man from France, named Terrer, 1772-1798, who couldn't stop eating. By the time he was 17, his parents kicked him out. He was eating his own body weight and food daily at the time. When he enlisted in the army. The army rations just couldn't satisfy him. Often, he would sneak out at night and search for offal in the garbage in the gutters. He was hospitalized, doctors trying to find a cure but, at night he would raid the morgue. Scientists unable to stop his ability to eat almost anything began to study it. They'd feed him such random things as eels, he'd swallow whole, lizards, a kitten and puppies, all of which, he ate alive. When a 14-month-old baby disappeared, he was chased from the hospital by an angry mob. He later died of tuberculosis. When your organs are taken out of your body for abdominal surgery, they don't get placed back in carefully or specifically. You just put all the organs back in and the body sorts itself out. On top of that, 
Some people are born with a condition called situs inversus, in which all their organs are a mere image of what is normal. Having this automatically disqualifies you from being in the military. Feeding a human body to pigs will cause them to eat everything except the teeth. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 2 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. While filming the movie The Exorcist, many actors got injured, the set burned down, a priest was brought in several times to bless the set, and the actor who played Burke, Jack McGowan, died of influenza. Just so you guys know, The Exorcist, a supernatural horror film directed by William Friedkin, was based on the 1971 novel of the same name by William Peter Blatty, which was in turn inspired by the exorcism case of Roland Doe, a pseudonym given to the victim by the Catholic Church. The 1973 film portrays the demonic possession of a 12-year-old girl. The story revolves around how the mother of the child attempts to seek normalcy in her daughter's life with the help of two priests who conduct exorcism. From its onset, the film went through troubled waters. Prestigious directors not only turned down the film, but ominous events surrounded the year-long shoot. Nearly nine people died who were associated with the production of the film and a mysterious fire destroyed the set one weekend. People started to believe that the project itself were cursed. A priest was brought in several times on the set to bless the film, its actors and the project. However, as if all the tragedies during the filmmaking process were not enough, that just after the work was wrapped up, the actor who played Burke in the film, died of influenza. Postpartum psychosis can show up in a new mother virtually overnight. It can make them hallucinate or go into psychosis, making them think their baby is a demon or the Antichrist for example. New mothers kill their own children because of postpartum psychosis more often than you might like to think. The more the mother knows it's a possibility the better she'll be able to combat it if it arrives. Botflies. The very fact that they exist is more than creepy. See, these little bastards are parasitic, by that I mean they bite an animal or human to inflict an open wound and proceed to inject their eggs into the wound. The larvae that hatch feed on the host, while the host is alive, until they mature enough to fly and continue the circle. Oh, and there is usually multiple larvae at a time that leave craters in the host's body. That butterflies are attracted to sweat, pee, poop, blood and dead things. Don't be frightened and or swat them away, it's called puddling and they're doing it to get salts and amino acids, nutrients that they wouldn't get from flowers. You'll be quite delighted to know this happens mostly during mating season. So, if a butterfly lands on you, it's because you're an aphrodisiac and their version of Viagra. Scientists still don't know what purpose sleep has for our physical health. However, if you are deprived of it, within a few days you start to hallucinate, and your organs start to shut down. In under two weeks, it can be deadly. It's completely essential for survival, we spend a third of our lives doing it, and no one really knows why. The Toolbox Killers, Roy Norris, and Lawrence Bittaker, would kidnap adolescent girls off the street and torture them to death with tools. Smashing joints with sledgehammers, anally and vaginally violate them with pliers, you name it. But the kicker? They made audio recordings of their crimes. None of the audio has ever been made public in any fashion, but there's a transcript. The Brain-Eating Amoeba. It lives in fresh water, lakes, rivers, warm water discharged from power plants, and the worst part, poorly maintained swimming pools, and if you get contaminated water up your nose, the amoeba can infect your brain. Common symptoms are headache, fever, nausea and vomiting. This leads to death within 3 to 7 days of the first symptom, only a few people have ever recovered. I read a case about a 14-year-old boy dying from it a few years ago and it's honestly quite creepy to me to think that going swimming could kill you with symptoms that could be mistaken for something else. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.